Whew, child. So listen, I know that I said 2020 was the year of you and that our main focus is to remain focused and to mind the business that pays us. And I, I mean that. I mean that. But they say when you see something, you're supposed to say something. And I'm seeing something and I got something to say. <laughs> so listen, before I go any further, let me go ahead and put this dic disclaimer out there. I am a faithful, tithe-paying member of the Beehive. I play no games when it comes to Beyonce. You guys know this. I love Beyonce. Like, I love Solange, and that's my baby sister. <laughs> Blue Ivy is my niece. Jay-Z is my favorite rapper, and he married my little sister. And... I don't want you guys to take anything that I am about to say out of context. I don't want you guys to feel at any moment that this is shade being thrown towards Beyonce because it definitely is not. I am a loyal, tithe-paying member of the Beehive. And I know that this is Beyonce's internet. And I know that I can't just put any old shit on Beyonce's internet because so with that being said I hate it here I fucking hate it here where in where is the plus size Ivy Park clothing where's it at sis like who approved this? Like, I, I know Beyonce. And I know Beyonce lives for the curvy girls just like she lives for you thin chicks. And there is no way in the world that my sister in my head, the mother of my favorite, favorite nieces and nephews, the big sister of my little sister, Solange, and the wife of my favorite rapper, would ever exclude me from some big shit like this. Now, I know for a fact that Adidas sells plus size clothing. So I'm trying to figure out who approved this. Like who decided, oh, we're going to have this collection, this collaboration, and it's only going to go to uh, extra large. Who approved this? Or is it is it an error? Like, fat girls like nice things. And I think that a lot of times you guys get confused. Like, we are in the midst of a curvy revolution. Fat girls are winning. We have slayed everything that you guys allow us to slay. Let's be clear. Because... This Adidas Ivy Park collection is not the only space that we're being excluded from. But Beyonce says you have hurt me to my core with this. You have hurt me. You have hurt me. You hear me? Because I just knew if anybody was going to show love, it would have been you. Like, I am so hurt. I thought that it was a typo. Like, I went back to the site. I reviewed information on other sites. Like, I did all the work that needed to be done because I knew that this was a lie. I checked. I was like, listen, I was like Santa Claus. I made a list and I checked it twice. Because I know that the world is naughty, but bitch, Beyonce is nice. It's no way that she was going to leave me out of this. Like me, Lizzo, um, who else? Like Gabby Fresh, Garner Style, Shantae Burkett, Essie Golden, Out of the Corner. Like all these bad fat girls. Tokyo Vanity. Like, what, what? 
where our stuff at, sis? Like, I knew, you know, I had to check myself. I knew I'm going to have to close my blinds, sis, because y'all getting too, it's too much natural light. The light was too natural. Okay, so I knew that I wasn't getting the PR pack. I'm, I'm a micro-influencer, you know. I'm verified on all social media platforms, but listen, I know that I wasn't getting the PR pack. I, I knew that. I came to terms with that when I started seeing everyone else receiving theirs. And I was okay with that, Beyonce, because I love you so much and I support you so much that it didn't matter. I was going to spend my coin. Like, I've been saving the checks from these other brands to give to you. I looked at the, the clothing as it was coming on the internet, as you were posting. And I said, I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get those shoes. Now, I'm still going to get the shoes. Eh? I'm not going to, listen, I'm not mad at you. I love you, Beyonce. But I am so hurt that you done messed up my outfit, sis. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to get the shoes. I am getting the shoes. But what I'm saying is that orange, the orange biker shorts with the sports bra situation, I wanted that. And I was going to rock that so hard. Like the, the burgundy dress with the little split, the little... I was going to kill that. I was going to. Like, listen. I know I'm not June Ambrose. But I had plans for that. I was going to style out in that. <sighs> now what? Like, I'm not going to kid myself and say, oh, I'm going to get extra large and maybe I can wear it. I can't wear no extra large. Look at all this. Look at this. Now, I, uh, I can wear two X. Maybe could wear an extra large top. I might try to get a top because I don't know. But I just. Can you extend the sizes? Please. For me. For your sister. For your loyal fan. For the ticket holder. Of every, with the exception of one, every one of your concerts, for your husband's biggest fan, can you do that for me? Like, please, God, Lee, girl, I don't, I don't, I don't beg for stuff. Like, I, I'm telling you, I was cool with not getting the PR package. I know I'm not up there yet, but I'm coming. I'm coming, sis. But I know I'm not there yet, but. Like, who approved this? Did this fly over your head? Did, like, I even wore my Beyonce wig to come talk to you. Like, this is Beyonce. Meet Beyonce. Like, oh my God, my earring came out. I'm sorry, B. I don't want you to think I'm being aggressive because I'm not, sis. But I just want you to see my wig. Like, this is my Beyonce wig. And I wore it because I wanted to come and talk to you and let you know so that you know, next time this won't happen. And also to let the world know that plus size women like nice things. Like, I know you don't follow me. I know you don't read any of my, any of my content, but I wrote an open letter to Lonnie Love because she said that there were no plus size icons. And even though I disagree with her from one perspective, she's kind of right. Because we don't get a chance to have these huge iconic moments in fashion like other girls do. Like Ashley Graham popped out in Dapper Dan, Gucci. Lately, Liz Ho has popped out in Gucci. But other than that, like the high-end designers, they don't all the time show love to the fat girls. And when they do show love to the fat girls, it's to the girls that can pass. Like they, they on the fence. They can go either way. But like the girls with the gut, like me, or the girls with the big old butt, 
Like Miss Diva Curves or the girls with the hips. Don't nobody love us. They don't want to dress us like they scared of these bodies. But we like nice things too. Like, I would have worn that jumpsuit. And I would have left the snaps open. And I would have put some dumb printed piece up under there. And I would have wore it with sneakers. And I also would have wore it with heels. Because people need to understand that just because it's athletic sure, it you don't have to wear it with sneakers. Like you can dress it up and you can dress it down. I know how to do that. I, I know that everybody doesn't know how to dress curves and how to style curves. But I do. Because I've been fat most of my life. And even though I have lost a substantial amount of weight, I'm still fat. And now I'm fat and I'm hurt because I love you. At my core, all the way, all the way to the core. I love you, girl, and I support you and I ride with you. But I don't know if you ride with me. Like, the young do you really have a collection that is going to drop tomorrow that I cannot partake in? Like, is this real life? Because if it is, I hate it here. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not. Please, I do not want to offend you. To my fellow Beehive members, I do not want to offend you guys. But I just want you to understand that fat girls, curvy girls, plus size girls, thick girls, whatever you want to call us and whatever we accept, we like nice things. We like nice things. And guess what? We know how to style and wow in those nice things. Now, I totally understand that I did not get a PR package. I understand that. I, I sat at my window for two days at least and waited for a truck to pull up with that orange box. And then I thought to myself, Maui, you're not worthy. <laughs> it's not coming. But I, I, I didn't care because I was ready to shop. Like I saved my coins. I saved my coins. My son is a, co a college student. He, had, he has books and access codes that need to be purchased and all of that good stuff. But I was going to, you know, like let him wait till next week. Because, you know, they, they really don't. I know. The first week of class, you really ain't doing nothing. You're going over the syllabus all of that kind of stuff, which I'm not doing. They never need no book the first week of class. You know what I mean? So I was going to wait till my other checks rolled in and buy his books with my other check because I was going to use this check for my Ivy Park. Well, I guess I'm back to adulting and being a good mom because there's really no Ivy Park for me to blow a bag on. I'm going to get the sneakers and move on with my life. Like, I had such high hopes. The content that I was going to create was going to be, it was going to be so dope, you could smoke it. But, I guess not. I don't know. Just next time, you know how they say in the Bible, I know you know the Bible because you're a country girl like I'm a country girl. We Southern girls, we've been in the, in the church. You know what I'm saying? You know, on the, the little devotional table at the church, it says, do this in remembrance of me. Uh -huh. I know it's too late to ask for anything on this collection unless you're going to extend the sizes. But after this collection sells out, because I know it's going to sell out, when you start working on the next collection, if you aren't already working on it, 
do that in remembrance of us. The big girls, the curvy girls, the thick girls, the plus size girls, the fat girls. Do that in remembrance of us. Create something that is plus size friendly. We like nice things. We deserve nice things. We're the butt of everybody's jokes. <laughs> Even though we pop it. <laughs> hmm. But, okay. Do that in remembrance of us because we do nice things. Like, remember us. The plus size and big and tall community like nice things. And I feel like designers and creatives need to understand that we are here. We're not going anywhere. Like every door you close in our face, we kick it off the hinges. Nobody styles and wilds like a fat black girl. Hook us up next time, sis. And again, no disrespect. All love. I'm going to shop the collection tomorrow. But I'm just getting the sneakers because I got nothing in my size. Like, I know you can't accommodate everybody. And I know that, you know, it's a challenge because it's all curves and no breaks. <laughs> but listen, do the next thing in remembrance of us. Think about us. Think about the fact that at least if you cannot accommodate an extended range of plus size, at least give us 3X, 4 to 3X at least. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and I know you can relate to this because you're a woman. There is nothing worse than going in a store and being excited about making a purchase and not being able to. Listen. That thing hurt. And when I looked on that website and saw that I wasn't getting the items that I had typed in the notes of my phone because it wasn't in my size. Whew. Listen. In the words of the late, great Aretha Franklin, Sometimes it hurt the love so bad. Especially when you're giving all you have. Anyway, I'm over it. Beyonce, I forgive you. And I'm waiting. Because I know that you're going to look out for you, girl. Yeah. I know you are. Smooches and deuces.